In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, I'd like to give you some tips on working with the MetaSound Background Library. This is available to you if you're a subscriber to Power Director 365. How do you get to the library? Well, first of all, I have this video of the river and this ambient noise, and let's assume I want to layer on top of it some background music. I'm going to stop my video, and then to get there, I need to click on the little blue arrow to display the Explorer view. And then if I look at the fourth item down, it's brand new. It says Background Music Meta. So we'll click on that and it will open up a panel. We'll expand it so we can see everything. If you look in the yellow letters on the left side, these are subcategories of all the kinds of classifications of music that's now available. So if I take, for example, Latin and click on that, I will see the ones I have. Now, the number of titles available is a little bit deceptive because we have a pretty large slider bar here. And I would assume that that's about half as many as we have. So watch what happens when I drag down. It keeps refreshing the screen and it gets smaller. So I have a lot more than originally I thought I might have in this particular collection. So that's a bit of an oddity about it. Let's go to another subcategory. Let's go to cinematic and look at what we have. You notice that the database that organizes these particular music clips is a database that gives you name, artist, tempo, duration, and download. Now, in other parts of the program, when you have these categories, you can click on the top and it will sort them. At least currently, we can't do that, which is unfortunate. Maybe that's coming in the future. I don't know. So there's no way to sort the list. You just have to drag through and figure out which ones you want to experiment with and try to download. There's something else to notice. Another one is, how do I preview it? If I just click on it, that will highlight it. If I click play, I would assume it would preview. So I click the play and it doesn't preview until it downloads it. So it will download everything you want to look at. And you're listening to a song right now. What I'd like to do is perhaps say, hmm, I don't like that. I don't want to use it. Let's stop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and click delete from disk. I don't want that in my collection. I'll say yes. I can download it a million times if I want to. It doesn't matter. But unfortunately, you can't just hear it. You have to download it in order to hear it. The good news is it doesn't take long to do that. Let's assume we find one we like. Let's take this sunset, for example. I'll just double click on it. That will download it. And let's use that in our project. So now that I have it there, I'm going to expand my lower area. And we'll take and we'll drag it down and we'll put it on track number two. So now I have the sunset. I'm going to right click on my track number one, my video, and I'm going to mute that clip so we don't have any competition. So now I can play it. Now, if I want to see where it's stored, the actual file, I can right click on the audio file and click on properties. And this will give you the location where it's stored it. It's in a hidden folder. It's not stored as an MP3. It's stored with another file that helps integrate it into the database that you see on the screen. But that's exactly where it stores it. In this case, it stores it on your default boot drive. I don't know of a way to change the location of that. That's information for you if you need it. It gives you some more information about it, duration, sampling rate, bit rate, everything else. So now I have it and I can use it in my project. When I'm done with this section, what I can do is simply click on back to media content and do other things in my project as I move forward now that I have some background sound by using the new method resource available for PowerDirector 365 subscribers.